Amy, in this year we have faced our first wedding venue burning down two weeks after we booked it, our second reception venue's lease not being renewed, which led us to being here, our wedding band jeweler having to go into surgery to have a brain tumour removed the week that I went to say, yes, let's get those rings. Uh, 112 days of stage four lockdown and over 230 days of restrictions. You've been working from home since March and in the last month you've taken on a second role at work just because organising a wedding in a pandemic isn't enough work for you to do. <laughs> and through it all, I have only felt us become stronger and stronger. I love you so much and I'm so proud to call you my wife. To my beautiful wife, Amy. <laughs> I know there were times where you wondered if this day would ever happen, but I didn't. From the very beginning, I always knew it was just a matter of when, not if. People say you never look more beautiful than you do on your wedding day. But you have looked more beautiful to me every day that I have known you. I can't wait to see how beautiful you look walking down the aisle. Like I also can't wait to see how beautiful you will look holding our future child. It's been a hard road to get to this wedding, but we're here. We did it. All that's left is to enjoy it. Takaya, when I first met you, you were a mystery to me. I was at a point in my life where I wasn't looking for a relationship, but I quickly saw what a beautiful and genuine person that you were. Five years feels like it's passed in the blink of an eye. Time always goes way too fast when I'm with you. Every day, I thank my lucky stars that you were with me. You are everything that I ever wanted or knew that I needed and more. My favourite days are with you. You make me a better person. You lift me up and you never pull me down. For me, home is not a particular place. It's wherever I am with you. Today isn't the beginning of our lives together, but a celebration of the life we share already. A life that has already been tested and challenged. This year, in particular, is one that has only proven our strength. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for loving me. And thank you for saying yes when I asked you to marry me. Getting married is brave, and I choose to be brave with you. I almost got there. <laughs> so close. <sighs> Takaya, you make life so special, and there's no one else I'd want to be walking this path with. I have loved building a life with you so far and I look forward to all of our exciting adventures and chapters to come as husband and wife.
Thank you to Kaya for making Amy so happy and giving her the wedding she's always dreamed of. I know you both are so incredibly in love. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel so. It's a most remarkable moment in life when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes the world a more beautiful place, and you simply can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Oh, I want to stay right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. Amy, I'm so honoured to be your best friend and bridesmaid and I feel so lucky to have you in my life. You look stunningly beautiful as always. I knew she had met the one when she decided to plan her life alongside Takaya and she made a bold move to move to Melbourne so they could be together. It's left no doubt in my mind that they are meant to be together and they're head over heels for one another. Let's never put the night on night. You are now husband and wife. You better have a big kiss to seal the deal. Oh, I want to sit right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. Oh, come on, turn your hate into poetry. Pain into power. Enemies to friends and your minutes into hours. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. The I just want to say as a friend, I'm so proud of the perseverance you have in such a really tough industry and your courage just to move to Singapore for Girls World and then to move to Melbourne. You move so many places for what you what you really love and what you really really want in your life. It's amazing. And you see that also with Amy. You fought for her and you got her. <laughs> oh, I wanna see right here, right here Killing with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight Something happened today which I wasn't expecting. Uh, I didn't know my mum was going to turn up at the ceremony today. It had kind of been decided uh, a while ago, pr pretty much from when my brother got married, that his wedding will have mum there and we'll get the photos. Amy was there um, because it wouldn't be likely that she would be able to be at our wedding. So that was a pretty special moment for me, seeing her uh, at the venue uh, and getting to experience that moment with her. Most of you know, if you don't, didn't already, that she has early onset Alzheimer's, uh, which means that these moments are ones that not only her, but uh, myself, my brother, my dad, uh, are robbed of because we don't get to share them with her. These moments which I know for her were the point of living they were the purpose she annoyingly always <laughs> went on to me and my brother about our weddings and our grandkids and i was like mom i'm 10. <laughs> but i know that this moment would have been one that she would have loved and for me, her being at the ceremony, getting to watch us get married, was incredibly special to me. The beautiful ceremony she did, she was enjoyed, and look at Takaza's face, she made a smile. She really did. Um, she hadn't given me a smile for probably a year that she did it to him. I was, I was in crying tears. I'll end this the way we end our days. We're lying in bed. I turn to you and say, I love you. 
And you say, I love you more. And I say, Not possible.